military medicine is the reconstructive piece. And it's the piece that says, what happens after survival? Because we've achieved unprecedented rates of survival. And that's where we here at Ohio State can intervene and improve in their quality of life and giving them back their joy. My father um, was in the military and he worked um, after he got out of the military in the VA Medical Center and I used to volunteer with him. And so being and treating the veterans was what I grew up doing. It seems to have been surrounded by it um, and I felt that early on when my clinical practice as I treat nerves and hand injuries, um, I wanted to dedicate my research to trying to help those who are in the military. I had a, a long courtship with the military. Most of the men in my family have been in the military. I saw an opportunity to do this at the highest level. I spent the last six years working at Walter Reed as an active duty member of the United States Navy. I've served the people who are really serving and I've, that's been the greatest privilege of my life. There is a need for us to treat these patients and we have the capability to do so and together we are building this program. What do we have in our reconstructive armamentarium that can minimize pain, work serve to minimize pain and optimize function? So one of the keys to doing high level uh, reconstructive care is taking a multidisciplinary approach to that care. Whether that's orthopedic, plastic surgery, psychiatry, um, urology even. So we have it here and we're going to build upon it. And we say there's more to living than just being alive. Um, and we are now focused on with this military medicine program thriving.